Good morning. My seminar topic is John Bates Clerk. John Bates Clerk was an American neoclassical economist. He was one of the pioneers of the marginalist revolution and opponent to the institutionalist school of economics and spent of his career as a professor at Columbia University. He was born and raised in Providence, Ireland. He graduated from Amherst College at the age of 25. John Bates Clerk was the leading creative economic theorist active in America during the period when Alfred Marshall and the great Austrian marginalists were active abroad. He developed a distinctive form of marginal utility, marginal productivity theory, which he presented not as a complete system, but as a first approximation and an approach to further analysis. The publication of Clerk Philosophy of Wealth marked his revolt against the spirit of the old political economy. He argued that people were motivated as much by their social interests, by their self-centered personal interests. Clerk was one of the founders of the American Economic Association. He was editor of the Political Science Quarterly and served as a director of the Division of Economics and History of the Carnage Endowment of Inter International Peace. His major works include The Philosophy of Wealth, Capital and Its Earnings, The Distribution of Wealth, Essentials of Economic Theory and Social Justice Without Socialism. His last publication, A Tender of Peace, called for a powerful league of nations to enforce peace. Early in his career, Clerk writing reflected his German socialist background and showed him as a critic of capitalism. During his time as a professor at Columbia University, however, his wishes gradually shifted to support of capitalism and he later became known as the leading advocate of the capitalist system. Clerk's first book, The Philosophy of Wealth, was an attempt to reform the American theory of prosperity, bringing it closer in line with his Christian socialist ethics. He sees wealth not as a natural phenomenon, but rather a political creation. Clerk emphasized the importance of achieving methodological individualism and placing the individual in an organic context as an integral part of social body. In the concluding chapters of the Essentials, Clerk deals with other specific problems, including principles of transportation and railroad problems, labor organization, wage attribution and boycotts, protection in relation to monopoly. In his analysis of current problems, we always attempt to discover and apply general principles. On the question of monopoly and competition, he published two small influential volumes, The Control of Trust and the Problem of Monopoly. In them, he stressed the force of potential competition. The methods of unfair competition that had been used to handicap or exonigous small competitors and the need to protect small competitors against such methods. As one of few American economists of the marginalist school and a prominent apologist for the capitalist system. Under Clerk, Columbia became the home of his social value, the school of marginalist economics. Thank you.